Better to let your hair down than swinging Carnaby Street, the trendiest fun fashion centre in the world, where the roaring 20s are all the rage with the inset. Yes, this is the place where it all happens. The narrow Soho side street, where the shop windows bulge with a brand of bold clobber and extras that breathe new life into even the model set. Reason for the revelry on this occasion was a real switched-on event. By no means a load of rubbish. Carnaby Street was setting off a year-year yuletide. And when they got lit up in the street of super styles, it was really something. As the scene setters say, it's just too much. A few years ago, Carnaby Street was a narrow, unimportant thoroughfare, tucked away behind world-famous Regent Street. Today, it's a different story. For fashion-conscious youngsters, it's Mecca. And for foreign visitors, it's as much of an attraction as that nearby noble route. So the kids let rip with a great rave, with their street put on their own Christmas show of lights. Don't be too ready to put the wrong interpretation on the arms handout. They're just props that happen to go with a fashionable craze for Bonnie and Clyde styles. And they don't have to use any persuasion in Carnaby Street to win big overseas sales. They just set the fashion and with it world markets come and collect. It's quite a racket. So come on inside, the gear's great. In the Carnaby Street local, they'd never heard of Prohibition. This was party time. There were grapes galore, natural and bottled. And big beat personalities like Long John Baldry were joining in the fun. Reg Presley of the Trots. And that very bonny girl, Faye Dunaway. It was the greatest night in the short history of short skirts and the things that created them. Way out clothes meant the way in for Carnaby Street. And that once unimportant side turning in Soho has proved that it's here to stay. The guys and dollies of Fashion Alley are boosting fashion and exports. We wish them a hippie new year.